Next, we'll look at building arguments. We can combine together our rules of inference to build new arguments. When we do, we will use the same vertically written format we have previously used, with each line being true and combined with a logical AND. Let's look at an example. Show that the premise is, it is not sunny this afternoon, and it is colder than yesterday. We will go swimming only if it is sunny. If we do not go swimming, then we will take a canoe trip. And if we take a canoe trip, then we will be home by sunset lead to the conclusion, we will be home by sunset. The first step is we will assign letters to each one of the propositions. We'll let P be it is sunny this afternoon, Q be it it is colder than yesterday, R be we will go swimming, S be we will take a canoe trip, and T be we will be home by sunset. So now we can build our argument, and we'll start by representing the first premise, which is the first sentence there. It is sunny this afternoon. I'm sorry. It is not sunny this afternoon, and it is colder than yesterday. So P was it is sunny. So not P is it's not sunny. And Q is it's colder than yesterday. We'll number this step number one. And we'll give the reason for this. This is a premise. When we start building arguments or proofs, we'll generally number each line and mandatory to give the reason why you can do each line. Line number two, we'll come up with not P as simplification from step number one. So these line numbers now become useful. So when we do our simplification, we just have to reference the line number. Then we can list another one of the premises, R then P. This is another premise, and this is the premise. Uh, we'll go swimming uh, if it is sunny this afternoon. Step number four will be not R. And we can do that uh, for our argument or for our reason here. We can do that based on modus tollens from lines two and line three. Step number five, now that we have not R, we can do not R then S. This is one of our premises. We have line number six, we can say S based on modus ponens. from line four and line five. And that was why the not R was important to get, so that we could use line four and line five to do modus tollens, I'm sorry, modus ponens. Then number seven, we have S then T, as another premise. And line number eight, we can come up with just T by using modus ponens uh, 
from line 6 and 7. So using all and t was the conclusion that we will be home by sunset. A proof or an argument going from top to bottom. It's a vertically stacked argument and every individual line is true along the way allowing us to end up arriving at our conclusion t. And t was the conclusion that we will be home by sunset.